Honorable Speaker has lectured throughout the world for the last 40 years and is, has always uh, debated very uh, complicated issues, you see, with the uh, uh, people of other religions. And now without, you see, going any further, I will ask the learned speaker to address you. Mr. <laughs> And my dear brothers and sisters, the topic, as announced by the chairman, is Jesus and Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon them both, upon all his messengers. A comparative study of these two mighty messengers of God. See, in our own language, if we use these names, Jesus, we would have said Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. We would never say Isa. As Muslims, if our learned men in our masjids, in our private halls, Muslim halls, if they came to talk to us, lecture to us, and say Isa for Jesus, we would kick him out. But you see, you say the Western nations, they call Jesus Jesus. Because they think he's God. Therefore, there's no mister, there's no reverend, you don't call him bishop, you don't call him pope, you don't call him prophet, you don't call him messenger, they just say Jesus. So I can't help it. Because of that, I said Jesus and Muhammad, may peace and blessing of God be upon them both. Where do we begin? The name itself, Jesus. I can't keep on saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Says, now people don't know what is this guy trying to hypnotize us or mesmerize us. So you will have to bear with me, my dear Muslim brothers. You'll have to bear with me. This is how the Westerner understands Jesus. See, at the debate that took place on Sunday between myself and an American Palestinian Christian from America, Dr. Shorosh, one of the objections he had against the Qur'an was that in the Qur'an, the name for Jesus is Isa. We say Isa alayhi salam. Is Isa. And he said that, is, that was not his name. In his native language, in the native language of Jesus, his name was Esau. That's a common name among the Jews, Esau. The classical for Esau is Yeshua. So he says, now look in the Quran, he's called Isa. That's his objection. He should have been Esau in the Quran, not Isa. As an Arab, he ought to have known that Arabic and Hebrew are sister languages. They are almost identical. And 
the name Esau and Isa are similar. The language are ident languages are identical. We say Ahad in Arabic, they say Ahad in Hebrew. We say Salam in Arabic, they say Shalom in Hebrew. We say Yawmul Juma means the day of Friday, day of gathering. They say Yawmul Sabah, Sabah. Yom, Yom. They're similar, almost identical. Iso, Isa is a variation in the Arabic tongue for Hazrat Isa al Islam or Iso. But now we have a chance of asking them, the Christians, where did you get Jesus from? Look, Esau and Jesus, they are poles apart. Esau and Isa sounds almost identical. Esau, Isa. But where you get Jesus from? 